to go to the gym, heard noise from about the wind from about three o'clock, um, came round, cut out of the driveway and massive tree just lying in the middle of the road. Um, didn't, certainly didn't hear it fall over, but I'm not surprised with the strength of the wind. Yeah, yeah. Winds like this common? Not this strong. Certainly know that it's windy if it's coming through and off the mountain, but um, I haven't felt anything this strong for a long time. Any other damage you know around here? Uh, no, but I have on the way to the gym, the fire engine was out and I did see a uh, trampoline stuck to somebody's uh, car shed roof. update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world. Good afternoon. The bad weather, which has been causing havoc in Northland, is now causing problems further down the country. High winds have been reported across Taranaki and the central and lower North Island. One News reporter Lucas de Jong joins us now live from Wellington with the latest on the storm as it moves south. Lucas. Well, it was the rain in the Upper North Island yesterday, but it is the wind in the Lower North Island that is causing all the problems this morning. Wind gusts recorded up to 130 kilometres an hour on top of stations here in Mount Kaukau in Wellington and across in the Marlborough Sounds here in Wellington also. Now, this is not the centre of where most of this damage has been done. The heart of this problem has been the town of New Plymouth, where 113 kilometre an hour winds have been recorded at the airport there. Take a look at these pictures from our One News cameraman, which have come in this morning. He was out on the scene very early this morning getting you these pictures and you can see the extent of the damage. Massive trees being ripped out by their roots and thrown across nearby roads and homes within that area. The fire service has said there's been extensive damage to a number of properties, cars and homes within that region. We've seen pictures of trampolines being picked up and thrown across nearby buildings as well as one storage shed almost coming apart at the seams as its roof came across and had to be held down by a digger on a nearby road as the road was closed for a short time so they could clear that debris. Now talking about some of the services, Air New Zealand has closed all the flights in and out of the airport at New Plymouth this morning. They say that the crosswinds are just too strong to have any planes coming in and out of that area. PowerCo has confirmed that around about 2,000 homes are without power within the Taranaki area this morning. That's because of extensive damage within that area and power lines being brought down from these strong winds. They say some people should be prepared to be without power overnight. 
A number of schools in the central New Plymouth area have closed as well because of damage being done to their classrooms, and that's only a number of the ones that we've seen within that region. Now looking forward, we can tell you that I've just got off the phone to Met Service and they have told us that the wind will be easing into the evening tonight, but those around that Taranaki and Central Plateau area, as well as down here in the Wellington region, will have to prepare for these strong winds for the rest of today. Peter. Thank you. That's uh, Lucas de Jong live from Wellington. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world. News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world. Strong winds tonight continue to batter large areas of the North Island where thousands are without power. The worst hit the Taranaki region where many are still picking up the pieces from a storm hammering several weeks ago. Wind warnings are in place right across the North Island from Taranaki to Wellington and the East Coast is on high alert with heavy rain. Already saturated Northland is expecting another drenching and Amy Kelly joins us live from Kaio shortly. But first, John Newton is in wind-battered Taranaki and joins us now live. John. Good evening. Well, the winds are still gusting, buffeting and blowing the trees around here in New Plymouth. But the sheer violence of the winds earlier today through some parts of Taranaki was absolutely astonishing. Vehicles blown off the road. This heavy truck no match for wind gusts measuring over 110 kilometres an hour. Dangerous, we've had trouble standing up at uh, jobs that we've been to. New Plymouth residents woke to find huge trees ripped from the ground. Came round, parked out of the driveway and massive tree just lying in the middle of the road. Um, didn't, certainly didn't hear it fall over but I'm not surprised with the strength of the wind. The gale force winds leaving emergency services scrambling as it tore roofs off houses and tossed other large objects into the air. Bits of these storage sheds were thrown almost 100 metres across State Highway 3, forcing it to close. Further south in Okato, firefighters battled high winds as they struggled to repair this family home. I'd recommend to the public that they stay indoors uh, until the wind does abate. At New Plymouth Airport, planes were left empty on the tarmac, the wind forcing the cancellation of flights in and out of the city. Along coastal towns, the winds brought sudden cold temperatures. Just wanted to go away <laughs> so we can have a normal life. <laughs> Long as no power goes out, that's the main thing. But power to about 2,000 customers throughout Taranaki is out. Strong winds bringing down power lines, leaving some hanging precariously over trees and cars. In southern Taranaki, which was the eye of the storm earlier this month, Repairs to buildings are underway. The new bout of high winds worrying locals. It picked up last night and I thought, oh no, we're not going to get another one. But some reprieve is on the way, with the Met Service advising the winds set to ease off overnight. John, can you bring us up to date on the power situation down there? Well, about 2,500 customers are still without power at the moment and uh, about half of those will probably not get it on tonight. The fact is that it's just too dangerous for linemen to actually climb up power poles in this, in this wind. And like the uh, storm, the storm which burst into this area in South Taranaki earlier this month, we're going to see quite widespread damage to the power network. Thank you, John. In New Plymouth, John Newton. Now to get you right up to date with where the stormy stuff is heading, our weather expert, Jim Hickey. Jim. Thanks, Wendy. Hi, everybody. The storm is beginning to lose momentum. Severe gales from the high country uh, to Taranaki to Wellington are on the cusp of abating. Rob Tucker took this from uh, Fitzroy Beach near Plymouth and said he could hardly stand up. The gales were the strongest he'd ever witnessed there. Regarding the rain, Met Service has shifted the rain warnings east to Gisborne, Hawke's Bay and Wairarapa. We can see over the last 24 hours the emphasis is in here with this driving southeasterly with some heavy falls catching that area. But that rain warning will be lifted in the next few hours as well. But now as the floodwaters recede, another the low, you've just heard about it, is inbound from the Pacific, ETA in the far north tomorrow night, but don't panic, it's not a storm, it's moving quickly uh, and it's not as deep or as nasty as the current system and it will affect parts of Northland and the Bay of Plenty. I'll be back later with more detail in your forecast, forecast. I'll see you then, Simon. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world.